What the hell is going on, people? This is Periodic, and you see the title of the video. We are jumping back into the Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle. We're jumping back into part one of the 350 million global downloads reached celebration campaign. And this is going to be a quick one. We're going to show you how to get Purunga Ball number four in week one of this Parunga celebration. Hey, before we get into the video, I just want to give a shout out to this month's members. I appreciate all of you guys. And if you want to contribute to the channel, but you don't want to have to sign up for a monthly payment type of thing, you can go into any one of my videos, this one included, and scroll down here to the thanks button. This is actually really cool. You're able to contribute, leave a highlighted comment below, and have a nice little animation on the YouTube video. Or you can just watch, subscribe, and like. Alright, so as you can see right now, it says there's no single from the Dragon Radar. That's because the mission isn't live yet, but a little birdie told me exactly how to complete every single Purunga mission. So this one isn't going to be that difficult. Now, hopefully... You're someone that does either your weekly skill orb event, or you do chain battle, or you go into this event, Awakened Power, a trial towards New Horizons. Because what you need are skill orbs. You need skill orbs. And what you have to do for this particular um, summon, or for this particular mission, I don't know why I said summon, for this particular mission, this is what you need to do. So let's just say I take Tech Ginyu Goku. Okay? Tech Ginyu Goku. All right, never mind. I have him already skilled up. Uh, do I have. Okay, beautiful. Here we go. Here we go. So as you can see, let's just start over here. As you can see, we have LR uh, Cell. And yes, this is the first character that I just chose out of the the you know top of my head i was just like yeah you know definitely sell let's pick sell so what do you do you click skill orb you click one of the slots doesn't matter which one it is and then you do this click any skill orb and you hit equip done that's it that easy that simple go do it now like i said before if for whatever reason you've been allergic to skill orb events and you've been allergic to chain battle, and you've never equipped a skill orb, or you just have no skill orbs, the easiest way to do it, easiest way that you can do it right now, right here, right now, is go into start, go into event, go into story, scroll down to any one of these characters, any one of these characters, Go into their event. So, for example, I'm just going to jump right into this event. Uh, I don't even know what that squad is, but we will bring... Actually, you know what? Let's bring LR Team Bardock. Who cares who my friend is? Okay, who cares who the friend is? Doesn't matter at all. We're going to go ahead and just kind of fly through this because we don't care about the hidden potential. Now, if, you've, if you haven't done the grind for these characters, you are going to care about hidden potential and you are going to want to grab up all those orbs that you can. I believe uh, it's small on the left, medium in the middle, and then um, large on the right. You're going to take a left here. Don't go to the finish. You're going to take a little left, okay, as I'm doing here. And then you're going to continue grabbing hidden potential orbs. I'm going to try to skip as much as possible. So don't worry about me. Of course, I'm going to get stuck getting all these ones. Just keep it going. Boom. Keep it going. Boom. And then just kind of get the rest of it here. You're going to face off of whoever. You're going to face against whoever you chose. Doesn't matter who it was. You're going to face off against whoever. I'll just put this homie there so he can get his super attack off. Boom. He's going to get his super attack as well. And then he's not. But that's okay. Because we should be able to kill him with these two right there you're gonna watch the super attacks happen all right you're gonna watch it happen that's okay that's all right boom Whew, one shotter well okay so we got a training item unfortunately but you may get the actual character to drop 
So let's just say the character did in fact drop. So repeat the mission or repeat the event until the character drops. All right, you'll get the SSR show up here in the obtain character and support memories. After you get that character, turn them into a UR. So level them up into a UR and then go into hidden potential, pick a character. We'll go that exact unit, right? Strength, UR. And then you find that Bardock or again, whichever one of those characters that you chose right here. All right. As you can see, skill orbs available, right? Skill orbs to open up. If you don't have any skill orbs, that's fine. Go back into your events. Boom. Go into growth here. Go into this mission. Go into team Bardock trial. Choose any character. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter beat the crap out of this guy <laughs> beat the ever living crap out of this dude all right just smoke him absolutely smoke him right here so watch this this guy even though he's got type advantage boom oh he survived okay now you done it see you smoke him real quick you understand as you can see i got like a little ticket i got a ticket there and then what you're going to want to do after you grab that ticket, and again, I had gotten Strength Bardock. So you see that ticket that I have right here? Proof of Ordeal. You're going to head into the Baba Shop. Go to Treasure. Or, I'm sorry, Secret Treasure Chest. Head to Proof of Ordeal 1. And again, it was for Strength Bardock. I'm going to click that. Use one ticket and trade. It's going to open up. And give me one skill orb. So I got a two dodge. I'm going to go back into hidden potential. Go back into that strength Bardock character. Uh, where the hell is he? Did I miss him already? Nope, there he is. Boom. Go there where it was. I believe it was a, it was a two dodge. Here? I think this, is, this was it. Yeah, character exclusive. And then I'm going to equip it. Boom. Now he's got two dodge. That easy. If you are going to do... Team Bardock, then you're going to do stage one of that, um, the, the Grand Priest event. If you're going to grind out the Ginyu Force instead, which you can, you just pass by Team Bardock and go down to the Ginyu Force members. Then when you go into this event, you're going to do stage two to convert those. Just remember, if, for example, you grab, um, yeah, we're, we're over here. So, for example, if you grab the geez how far okay so if you grab guldo right and you go into the secret treasure chest and you go over here which is the ginyu force you're going to want to grab the guldo exclusive it literally says in the name right there so make sure you're matching up the right people with the right skill orb chests and that's the easiest way to do it uh so that's a full ex explanation on how to get this done uh, if you have any trouble, let me know in the comments down below, but you shouldn't. This is a complete way to do it, even if you are a brand new noob to the game. Get that Purunga Dragon Ball. Don't slack. Number four, done, simple, easy. We're going to have guides like this for every single one of the Purunga Dragon Balls. Uh, you only have to follow the channel. You can do that by clicking that blue join button, become a boomer champion like Joe V, or just do it the free to play way. Gently rub that sub button. Gingerly ring that bell button. Lovingly, kiss the like button. As always, it's periodic. See y'all in the next video. Peace.